पहले शेर तो सुन ले आप लोग प्रेजेंटेशन तो हो ही गई आदि से ज्यादा आंख का बिनाई से मंजर का अपने अक्स से रिश्ता नाजुक सा है लेकिन जोड़ते जाते हैं हम मोतिया बंद आंख से हम मुचक लेते हैं यूं अज सहाय चश्म को जोड़ते जाते हैं हम अपने जालुती साहब को देखा कैसे घुमाया उन्होंने विंड मिल की तरह एक अक्से मुंतशिर को देखना है मुर्तकिस अ ब्रोकन इमेज नीड्स टू बी सीन कंपोज अगेन एक अक्से मुंतशिर को देखना है मुर्तकिस रेजा हाय आईना जोड़ते जाते हैं हम दैट्स वाई आई एम स्टिकिंग टूगेदर द ब्रोकन पीसेस ऑफ अमीर शीशा गढ़ ठहरे हैं हम गिर हैं शीशों की जिया सांस रोक के दिल को थामे खोलते जाते हैं हम डॉक्टर आमिर अवान वे लाइक दी so the when to exchange or consider when it is symptomatic only then you consider repositioning or exchange of intraocular lens your clinical examination may be horrible to look at but if the patient is not symptomatic there is no diplopia or no confusion then please don't do that only if the patient is symptomatic and the displacement of the lens is enough to cause symptoms then you decide to exchange or reposition the intraocular lens the symptoms are glare diplopia confusion double vision as you know on other complications of a misbehaving iul may be cme glaucoma etc and the reasons are either i has got some inherent problem like pseudo exfoliation syndrome or it is a kind of progress progressive subluxation disease which was not taken care of during primary surgery or there may be trauma but most of the cases we all agree are surgeon induced weaknesses or malpositioning which ultimately leads to need to reposition the intraocular lens but i don't prefer anterior chamber iuls there are to me the place of an intraocular lens is behind the iris this is our 25 to 30 years of experience which have told us that it is easy to learn easy to implant but ultimately especially in young patients it leads to devastating complications like bullous keratopathy and other things bismillahir rahmanir rahim the author carries no financial interest in this video Video title In situ bag repositioning with double haptic scleral fixation of multi piece acrylic foldable PCIOL Purpose To present in situ bag repositioning with double haptic scleral fixation of multi piece acrylic foldable PCIOL Setting Wopda Teaching Hospital Complex and Central Park Medical College Lahore Pakistan Methods A middle-aged male presented with subluxated capsular bag with multi-piece acrylic foldable PCIOL secondary to pseudo exfoliation syndrome Pre-op visual acuity was counting fingers and improved to 6 by 18 with aphakic correction. In situ repositioning with double haptic scleral fixation of IOL was planned under local anesthesia. Partial thickness scleral tunnels was prepared at fixation site.
two paracentesis were performed. Anterior chamber was formed with injection methyl cellulose. Transscleral 10-0 proline fixation suture was passed 1 mm behind limbus. 27 gauge bent needle and 10-0 proline straight needles were used for this purpose, applying railroad technique, encasing the IOL haptic. Suture needle was retrieved at opposite limbal paracentesis using visco cannula as a guide. was given a second pass. 10-0 proline needle coming through paracentesis while 27 gauge syringe needle entered through fixation suture site. Thus suture passage was repeated in opposite direction but anterior to the IOL haptic this time. bag complex was dialed in position at ciliary sulcus by applying gentle traction on the sutures. The fixation suture ends were tied to each other and cut ends buried inside the scleral tunnel. Anterior core vitrectomy was performed. Second fixation site was fashioned 180 degrees apart. Similar procedure was repeated with other pole of haptic bag complex. Haptic bag complex was dialed in position at ciliary sulcus by applying gentle traction on the sutures. The fixation suture ends were tied to each other and cut ends buried inside the scleral tunnel. Projectival flap was reapproximated at limbus. Suture knots were again rotated inside the corneal stroma. Wounds were hydrated. Results. The IOL bag complex was well centered at the end of the procedure and remained so to date that is three months post-operatively. The BCVA is 6 by 9 with quiet eye. These are the post-operative slit lamp pictures. You can notice the well-centered lens bag complex and a quiet eye. Conclusion In situ bag repositioning with double haptic scleral fixation of multi-piece acrylic foldable PCIOL is a viable and effective option for such cases. Using this technique, one does not need to retrieve the IOL or its haptics outside of the eye. Rahim. Dear viewers, in this video presentation, I am going to explain repositioning of malpositioned intraocular lenses, maybe because of intraoperative errors or some trauma or pseudo exfoliation like syndromes in post operative period. فردہ و امروز یا ماضی کا زمانہ لکھوں دیدار نہ اظہار نہ اقرار نہ انکار کیا بھلا ایسی محبت کا فسانہ لکھوں Another video clip in which a hard PMMA lens is dislocated through the rent but the capsule is intact otherwise and the rent extension is less than a quadrant So after filling the anterior chamber with viscoelastic I'll gently rotate and tease the lens into the anterior chamber making sure that the capsular rent is not extended and the lens is very easily placed in the sulcus away from the axis of the capsular rent. And then anterior vitrectomy is performed because the vitreous tags will not let the lens centered postoperatively. And this is how it finally looked. 
the haptics are placed away from the rent. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear audience, in this video I am going to explain loop fixation of an intraocular length with single haptic fixation. Two paracentesis are prepared 180 degrees apart. Interior chamber is in, formed with viscoelastic and then IUL is dialed free of all cyniki and the positioning of the haptic optic junction is assured in the needle track. Tensor proline straight needle again goes 1 mm behind the limbus and a visco cannula comes from the opposite paracentesis acting as spatula and helps the proline needle out from the paracentesis. Second proline needle goes again 1 mm behind the limbus directed towards the center of the vitreous cavity but this time it passes behind the IUL haptic so that the loop formed with both the needles attached to the same suture encases the IUL haptic into it engages it in the loop once both the needles are out from the other paracentesis they are cut and removed and the suture is tied to each other to complete the formation of this loop and the loop is gently rotated by pulling from the fixation site and the knot is externalized at the fixation site once a knot comes out it is cut and removed and thus is hydrated and this is how it looked on first post up day This is a Rayner hydrophilic lens which is dislocated into anterior chamber because of the trauma and uh, we are going to reposition and fixate it in the sulcus after making sure that the lens is free of cyniki making the anterior chamber deep the scleral tunnel is being prepared for the fixation suture pass and then comes a proline suture because it's a dual haptic design so the needle will pass through the two haptics opening between the two haptics and uh, these opening between two haptic prongs will be used to loop around for the fixation suture and the fixation suture is passed by rare roll technique using a 27 gauge needle the first pass the needle passes through the haptic openings and the second pass it comes interiorly and the both the proline needles are retrieved through the fixation suture outside then the pro needles are cut and the sutures are uh, tied to each other anterior vitrectomy is performed the support on the other side is good enough and the lens is well sent They are safer, that's why they are known as flexible open loop designs. But I tell you, ultimately, one day you will agree with me. And once I started about 30 years ago, almost 30 years, maybe 28, I started talking about scleral fixation of intraocular lens. And the ACIUL was the IUL of choice at that time. And the people used to stand up from the audience. Why, when we have a, such a simple solution? I'm coming to your question. So they will challenge me. And once I started at national level, then I went at international level. So scleral fixation was a remote kind of thing. It was not being practiced by many surgeons. And nowadays, that shows the devastation of the problems of ACIUL. Nowadays, after FACO emulsification, the most of the research innovations and presentations are being made on secondary IULs and it is a very hot topic in the American Academy of Ophthalmology at Asia Pacific level at, at European Society of Cataract and Refractive Surgery that is suture fixation, suture less fixation, fibrin glue, haptic tucking, haptic externalization 
why this all research and a full wave of surgeons of renowned stature are working on that like Robert Osher, Amar Agarwal, Jimenez. Jimenez is almost like being awarded with a gold medal or a Nobel Prize with his technique. 